Believe it or not, Butterick has released their early fall pattern collection. <laughs> it is a gajillion degrees here, so it's hard for me to imagine sewing for fall, but I'm going to do my best to put myself in like 60 degree weather and little humidity and see what these patterns are like. Typically, I really like fall patterns. Like I love dresses with long sleeves or, you know, lightweight pants and things like that. So I am excited. Um, it just feels like early July is a little soon, but it is what it is and here they are. So let's take a look. The first one seems to be a Mrs. Women's dress with this fun sleeve detail and this option for color blocking. Clearly the bell sleeves are still very much in. Um, here it is with like a piping detail, which is cute. Um, here's our line drawing. I'm assuming these are all woven fabrics, which is good. That's a really cute little number. Let's check out some of the style lines. So also, do we have like a longer bell sleeve, a shorter bell sleeve, and no bell sleeve? Okay, I think that's what we're working with here. Um, the line art looks to have a couple of bust darts. Oh, and look, my favorite fisheye darts in the back, which is why they're able to get such good shaping on these real world models. Y'all love, y'all know I love darts. Is this separate? It looks like this little sleeve thing is not fully attached, but on this one it is. What is that about? Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. Hard to see from these pictures, but isn't that what that looks like? Like that part is not attached to the sleeve. That's very interesting. So like your, it, but it's not at your elbow. Hmm. Well, should we look at the whole thing to see if we can see it better? I definitely can't tell what is going on, but certainly that line drawing makes it look like it's not attached, right? Is that the vibe y'all are getting too? Or is it just this little tab thing's not attached? Um, do we get an explanation anywhere? Um, nope, no explanation for what it is other than sleeve variations and back zipper. That is interesting. I guess you'd have to pick it up and look at the instructions to tell what the deal with that one is. But that could be really interesting. It's very cute. I love a shift dress with a shift dress with um, fisheye darts in the back. It makes such a huge difference. Um, I'm also curious to know if this part is fully attached or if it wraps around. She looks like she's sewn into this. Um, she looks like it could be not sewn in, but that could just be the piping too. Okay, next up we've got a Lisette pattern. This one is another Mrs. Dress. This is probably one of those that would work in um, wovens as well as stable knits. Like I'm getting a Ponty vibe from this fabric, but look at those sleeves and all of this gathering detail. Oh, and beautiful shaping here. Look at these. Look at that waist that they were able to get on her. That's awesome. Albeit it's a little large through the shoulders, <laughs> but still. Lots of great waist shaping on this one. Very, very figure flattering. It looks to be like just a ton of seams all over this. Yeah, look, these princess seams, full body princess seams, plus the ruching. Hello, hidden stomach. And then you have, um, well, they're not gonna show the back. Let's go back down here. Side zip, um, sleeve ruching. Oh, we've got a couple of options here. So you can either have the full length princess seams or you can have these godets, which create like a fit and flare look. Also, 
Interesting. And then look at the back. Gorgeous. Same there. I think either one of these skirts um, would look very flattering because of all of this princess seaming. Very, very nice. F totally figure flattering for every single figure, whether you're boy shaped, pear shaped, apple shaped, or any other kind of fruit shaped. <laughs> it's going to look really good on you. Leave it to Lizette to um, create a pattern for real women. Love that. All right, next up, another Lisette. This looks to me like a little suit or something. Mrs. Top and Skirt. Ooh, okay, so we've got like some front ruching on the skirt and the top. That's just like a chic outfit. If you have to wear like professional stuff to work, I mean, this is what I would go to work in if I had to wear professional stuff. Less shaping here, more boxy. Still a little bit though. Come on, internet. Oh, and then a dramatic uh, sleeve. I can't remember the name of these where it's um, balloon, balloon sleeve maybe. And is that the same ruching or is that a ruffle? I'm getting a ruffle vibe and you guys know I love ruffles. Let's take a closer look at that detail. Where is she? Oh, it's not letting me go full screen. Oh yeah. It's a ruffle. Fitted tops have front gathers and pleat, which is this. Um, sleeve variations and invisible zipper. Semi-fitted skirt has gathers and invisible zipper. Very cute. I'm not so sure I'd wear these two together, but this looks really cute. I don't know. Does that look sloppy? It could. I think it really depends on what fabric you pick. Um, it looks like the tops. No. These two are fully lined and this is partially lined. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Gorgeous. First of all, the color, Pantone color of the year. But look at that back. How beautiful. Where would you wear this? I guess for dinner. It's like giving me like sexy vibes without showing like a ton of skin. It's not super deep in the front or the back. Or super short, but to me, I don't know. Very, very sexy with that flounce. And then we also have this other bubble hem, bubble hem sleeve. And then this, you know, exaggerated bell sleeve. Cute girls. What do we think of those? So you have this flounce that kind of just like flows to the back. And then you have the bubble sleeve, which could be a little young. Um, no fisheye darts. So it's just, you can even see in the drawing, it's just a big rectangle of fabric, which wouldn't work for a figure like mine. But they do say that if you have like a lot going on about the shoulders, then that distracts from the width at the hip. So it'll give the illusion of a um, hourglass shape, even if you have narrow shoulders and even if you're more of a pair, it'll give you more of an hourglass. But I would have to do some alterations because this size is like a 14 and this size is like a 22. And without any real shaping in the bodice pieces at all. Um, my figure just doesn't look like this and I don't want to be swimming in the top, which is probably what would happen. So that's a little disappointing. I wish they would take a note from, um, Lizette, but it wouldn't be hard to make the larger size up here and then 
add a fish dyed fish eye dart and grade for the neckline. It's just more work, you know. Okay. Um, this is another little floaty dress. This one's giving me major 40s vibes with, I don't know, maybe the sweetheart neckline plus this full shoulder design. Um, this is interesting. Those, uh, are they technically pin tucks? And this, you've got a waist seam, it looks like. And then maybe like an A-line skirt. It does pull in nicely here, but I don't know, because that does extend beyond the natural waistline. So if you've got a little bit of a stomach like I do, then I don't know. This would either be flattering or not. I can't tell if it would highlight that part or not. Certainly, you could adjust it so that the pin tucks open up higher and make this midriff part shorter. Um, but it does have these gathers here instead of darts. Interesting. I'm not sure that that style is totally for me. Um, but I could see it being really cute on some people who can pull off like a period look, like a vintage look. Some people are just really good at that. I think I would just look like I was trying really hard to dress up and it's like not working. All right. Next, Gertie. Gertie doing what Gertie does, right? I mean, you could pick out a Gertie dress without even seeing her face. Um, but it's got this interesting, like, button fold-over detail, um, a shaped midriff, super full gathered skirt, and a little sleeve. Personally, same with the last pattern. I'm just not a huge fan of these, like, period looks, these vintage -y looks. Some vintage dresses I can get behind, but it, they have to have pretty modern seam lines. Like, I don't go all in um, on anything like this. But hers have two bust darts, one here and then one diagonal one here. So very interesting shaping for the bust there. But the people who make Gertie dresses swear by them. They love them. So... If you are into that, certainly check out a Gertie if you hadn't before. All right. This one's got custom cup sizes, which I absolutely love. Um, I fortunately pretty well fit into the standard cup sizes. I want to say that Butterick and McCall's are designed for B cups. So, and that's pretty much what I am. Um, but if you're larger or very, or much smaller, A, D or above, um, these custom cup sizes dress, these custom cup size dresses patterns are like perfect for you. You don't have to do small bust adjustment or full bust adjustment. They're just ready to go. All of this with the sheer is supposed to be like all the rage this fall. So they are totally on trend with that. Um, and I kind of love the sheer with the sleeve embellishment. Like I kind of love that it's it doesn't just cut off here. That would be matronly. This makes it feel young and hip to me. Um, and we've got great shaping. This princess seams through the bust here in the front and the back to give her that boom, boom, perfect little waist accentuated there. This is why I really love seeing it on people so much more than drawings. On a drawing, you can draw in whatever kind of waist shape you want. But on a real person, you can see how that shapes her body and gives her a waist. Could they pull that in a little bit more? Yeah, probably. But um, you can get the idea there. Um, this is also cute. And then this is, you know been done. We've been done this road with the sheer yoke. 
cute little sleeve there. So it looks like you have quite a few options. Um, let's go to the full product details. Um, you've got this cutout with just the yoke um, being sheer. Obviously you don't have to do that sheer. You could do that in the same cell fabric too, but um, they've designed it to be sheer. And then you've got the filled in sleeve with the double layer ruffle, also cute. You gotta be careful that you don't pick too novelty of a fabric or else it could look a little childish. Um, and then you've got this full sheer, which personally this one is my favorite. I like that um, if this was a solid black, for example, and you did all of this in sheer or some kind of lace, um, and then you did this in a solid like matching color, like if this were black and this were black or this were white and this were white, whatever. Um, that to me gives it a cohesive look. I do like how they paired it with this, you know, dark background print too. Very cute. That style line is interesting to me. It doesn't look, it looks a little more flat here, but on her it kind of curves up a little. Still flattering though. You just don't want to look like a linebacker, you know, with a straight line going across your chest like that. But cute. I like this one. All right, what is next? We have got a little suit. Mrs. Women's blouse and skirt. So they're saying blouse. I'm saying little jacket. Or maybe it's just because they used a heavier weight fabric. But this is modern fit with ready-to-wear sizing. Which, oh, Connie Crawford. Okay, yeah. So Connie Crawford is known for her patterns. Sizing is closer to ready-to-wear than it is the rest of the butter, rest of the big four patterns. So that's sort of what she's known for. But we've got this little, I mean, is that a, button placket or I'm assuming it's buttons but it doesn't say and then this little wrap skirt that ties is adorable two darts in the back I usually need four um but stay lobby it is what it is that's it um but look at this we've got shoulder darts bomb and fisheye darts double bomb so this little number is going to be great. I can imagine you can make this in a variety of fabrics. Fitted blouse has hidden front button closure. That is cool. I don't know why you wouldn't make that into like a little crop jacket. That's how I would wear it. This as like a whole full suit, not so sure. But I would definitely make this as a separate for sure. I mean, this... This back is giving me life and little front darts here. Super cute. The fabrics though, what are they suggesting? Linen, silk, wool, and cotton blend. So yeah, pretty stable wovens. Cute. Very, very cute. That color is gorgeous too. All right, now we've got, oh, well, if this doesn't remind you of a certain indie top pattern, it should. Okay, so we've got this huge ruffle. I think we've seen this a ton this past fall. All the boutiques were carrying some variation of this sleeve, dolman sleeve into like a back yoke ruffle thing. Do we still like that? What do we think? I think it's cute. It's not so cute when she's like got her arms out like wings, but when you're just standing normally like this on both sides, I think it's really cute. Um, oh, and then we've got, okay, a shoulder cutout. Wonder what her back looks like. We'll go look at the line drawings in a second. Then another one of these bubbles. I actually kind of really like all of these variations. This is very on trend. A lot of... um. I subscribe to Fabletics, which is like an athleisure company, and they were doing a lot of this on the sleeves this past year. 
cute. Let's go look at fronts and backs. What do you say? All right, loose fitting pullover tops have sleeve variations. Okay. Oh, so it's just a little um, open seam, really. It's not actually technically a cutout. And the back mimics the front on all of them. Oh, look at that. That is cool. So there's the ruffle one. And then there's also this one where you basically feed a gigantic um, drawstring all the way through and it wraps back around and then ties on both sides. Or they have one going all the way this way and then another one going all the way this way. I don't know exactly how they've lined it up, but that's where you get this little sleeve thing. That's cute. I really like this one. This one's going to the top of the list for me. Um, and I'm assuming this is knits. Yeah. So moderate stretch knit, 35% cross grain, jersey interlock, cotton knit, rayon knit. That's pretty much any knit. You could use sweater knit. You could use the art gallery knit. Um, or anything lighter than that too. Th this isn't very fitted. So you could um, get away with lots of different knits on that. Very cute. All right, here's another top. This one is another little dolman with a bib, it looks like. Interesting, and little gathers here. And sleeve variation. So we've got the long sleeve. Oh, this isn't knit. This is woven because there's a little keyhole. Okay. I don't know about where this is hitting her right on the apex of her bust. Hmm. I mean, again, it looks cute in the drawing. But on real life, I'm not sure about in real life. But the drawing makes it look real cute. Well, maybe not her. <laughs> I don't know about that applique. And this collar. Yeah, I'm not sure. This could go either way. I need to see it on some more people. So if that appeals to you, please make it quickly. And tag me so I can see to see if I'd like it. I think I would like A because it seems more balanced. The proportions seem more balanced, but I don't know about this one. I'm on the fence. Do y'all want to see the rest of the line drawings? I'll scan through them quickly. This does have that same seam in the back, so technically you could add ruffles here, like that other one that I saw. Oh, look at that. It ties in the back. That's just a lot going on here. Over designed, possibly. It I don't this just doesn't seem flattering to have that be so large. I'll have to try and find it in some ready to wear and see how it looks there. All right, another little top. Um, more tunic length, drop waist. Is that what's happening? Or is it supposed to be peplum? This could be really cute, this sleeve. This is either too long or it's intended to be a drop waist. I can't tell. But I do like how high up on the neck it is in the front and back. So there it is cropped. Yeah, it's drop waist. These darts are flattering. Interesting. What do we think of that one, guys? It seems a little basic, but that it could be really cute if you pick the right fabrics and, and trims and stuff. Hmm. Like, this is cute. I like this little cap sleeve with the gathered bell sleeve. I can't say I've seen that a lot in patterns. Mostly this sleeve is all the way down to here and then the bell comes out or this bell starts all the way at the top. I kind of like how it's separated like that. This one's also very intriguing to me. 
and you don't have to put this trim on, obviously. Um, and it's got little side slits, which is also helpful for those of us that are wider because you can make it fit without, you know, having to make it fit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can get it on, it lays nicely over your hips without having to make a huge angled adjustment. You can kind of cheat a little bit and split the difference. All right, what's she got going on? Okay, lots of different angles. I see a princess seam and some other kind of seam like this, and then another one dropping down here. A lot going on here. This could be cute. I'm surprised I like it so much. Are you guys surprised? Look back, princess seams. Um, there she is with princess seams and like a double peplum. That's cute. Same thing with a little bell. And then this. What do we think of that? What do we think of this one? Could be a little fussy, could be a little cute. I think if it weren't in this like satiny fabric, I would like it a lot more. Mostly because I just don't really wear satin that much. You know? But it could be cool. Like the idea behind it is really cool. Okay. Here are the line drawings. I bet making that is fun. This, how it wraps around, is also really cool. Neat. And you know I love those back princess darts. Very good. Here's another top. Yay for so many tops. She has got, it's like a bat wing wrap over. Wrap pullover. I think that's what I was trying to say. More bat wing. That is low, guys. Hello, cleavage. Mm hmm Very flattering. Look how cinched in her waist is. It's like boom, boom, boom. That's the same. Okay, same picture. <laughs> Okay, so then we have the option of not doing the full bat wing, separating the sleeves from the bodice, doing a mock wrap with a peplum and little cutouts. Is this what the lady was wearing? I can't tell. Hmm. I think these are all just sleeve variations on what this one is. A, B, C, D. Yeah, they're all different. I think, uh, what is the difference? This one has a bubble hem. This one is three-quarter length, and this one is full length. I think those are the differences. That could be cute. I got a lot of really great, like, rayon chalet type of fabrics in my stash. I bought a couple of them in New York, too. Um, and that could be fun out of this, because that is really going to dress up some jeans, you know? This is a dressy top no matter what fabric you make out of it, which is make it out of, which is really kind of a cool concept, I think, to have like a dressy top, you know? All right, now we've got Katherine Tilton, who's known for her kind of, I don't know, a little bit wackadoodle sometimes. This one seems relatively tame for Katherine. It's like a longer moto jacket. Or cropped. I like the collar on this, how it doesn't have your typical, you know, peak lapel, like lapeled collar. Fits her well. We've got some seaming on the sides here. Cool. And I think both of those are knits, so I wouldn't be surprised if this were a knit moto jacket. 
either in a longer length or cropped. And it also looks like this one has like a little dart or a little waist seam. Hmm. Art, C-A-R-T. So they're real artsy usually. This is probably the skirt that we were just looking at. Okay. This is actually really mod and cool. See these lines here? That's neat. It's going to be hard to see in this dark fabric. And then a shorter length too. Thanks for using a real woman. Can I just acknowledge this? That she doesn't have like a super muscular toned body like most of us don't have. Okay, let's look at some of these line drawings because I think this could be cool, but it was just hard to see. Okay, so we've got a princess seam and also this lower hip seam and little hidden pockets in here. Center back. How do you get into this thing? Uh, it's knit. Invisible zipper, two for view A, three for view B, elastic, and stay tape. Hmm. Where's the other zipper? Do you zip it up? Mm, no. I guess it just pulls on. Yeah. Pull on skirts. Have pockets with invisible zippers. Optional elastic and waist. Moderate stretch knits only. Yeah. Oh, I would say so. Um, and so then the longer version has this little triangle detail. Oh, and look, there's a zipper there. Just for fun, because it's A-R-T art. And it also eliminates the uh, little princess seams in the back. That could be cute. It could be cute. But I think you would put a lot of work into it and people would hardly be able to tell what you did. Certainly wouldn't use a lot of fabric being cut up into such small pieces. Yeah, look at that. A is like a little less than a yard and a half of fabric. That's like nothing. That's cool. Interesting. Cute little skirt pattern. All right. Now we've got... Mrs. Vest and Jacket. So I think these are hook and eyes. And I'm wondering if this is the wrong side of this fabric. Or if it's lined to be that way. This pointed front, though, is giving me major 80s vibes, especially with a mini skirt. Little peplum, lovely seaming here. And then here's the vest. And then the jacket without the ruffle. Again, all of this is reading very 80s to me. That's cute out of like a ponty. I can see it being very modern and wearable. Hmm. What do y'all think of this little jacket? This is actually kind of giving me like 1800s vibes as well with this little flounce on the side. It could be cute. I think the fabrics here, all of them are wrong, except for this one. This is just, I don't know about this. I don't know if this was the right choice. Okay, here's another modern woman jacket. I'm thinking no buttons, no zipper, it's just an open jacket. They made theirs out of brocade, which makes for a very fancy jacket. It's actually got some flair to the bottom portion. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Sitting down. Okay. Got it. Yep. I mean, can we talk about how gorgeous her hair is for a second? Jealous. Oh, okay. So now we've got this little closure and a collar band and flipped up cuffs. Okay. Applied trim and like a longer length. Oh, and a ruffle. Mm hmm. Okay. Wow, guys. All right. So, hmm. I think in general, I'm not a fan of these like hip length jackets. And the longer versions of this, like this feels athletic to me. And then this feels Victorian. So those aren't really matching up. This could be cute, but I'd have to find the right fabrics. And I'm not sure this is the right one. You know? Okay, now we've got, wow, this is like, a full-on coat, which I never need. It never gets cold enough here for this. But I'll say, it is pretty darn cute. Bless her heart for taking these photos. And I'm sure it wasn't like a month or two ago. This is adorable. Love this. I even like the um, fur collar shawl thing. The length is really good. I like that they're little pleats that match up with where the buttons are. Great back detail. This is a really great little coat. If I lived in, let's say, Montreal, Vancouver, you know, Montana, <laughs> I would be into this. I would be heavily into this. Um, I can't even imagine it making it in a lighter weight fabric and still needing to wear it but it's one of those you know Kate Middleton coats that you wear and that's your outfit you know you don't take it off like it stays on all the time so yeah cute this is a good one this is a really good one maybe I'd make the cropped one maybe but I don't need the fur collar that's for sure love it Next, a cape. Oh gosh, I thought we had moved on from capes, but I guess not. Here we are with another cape. They are adorable. I love them. I have, I think, one or two of them cut out that I never finished. This is more wearable for me, even in the winter. Um, so I could see myself making this certainly before a fur collared coat. What are our options here? I think she looks great. I love it with the turtleneck. Very excellent pattern matching. Great job. It's just, I think, the one version. Oh, no. There's a ruffle. Y'all know I'm done if there's a ruffle. Or is this... I'm having a hard time telling the difference between all of them. Let's look at some line drawings. Lined semi-fitted capes have <laughs> punctuation, unnecessary punctuation, have front and back darts, front button closures, and sleeveless. B has a ruffle, C and D have a collar. So basically it's a vest with a little cape sewn on like halfway down the front shoulder. And then there's the ruffle version. Um, they aren't showing the seam lines for the back of the vest, but I'm assuming they are they have the fisheye darts because it says front and back darts. 
Um, so I think under this cape, there is a vest with darts. And then we've got button up, collarless. Then we've got hidden button, collarless with ruffles. Then we've got a mandarin collar, hidden button, and a mandarin collar with buttons. So several options there. Hmm. This is cute. This is definitely growing on me. I'm loving it styled like this with the monochromatic outfit, pants, and um, tank or turtleneck. And then this being the pop of pattern and color. Cute. Let's see. I'm sure they're suggesting wools and whatnot. Wool blends, tweed, gabardine, and even ponty. And I guess it's fully lined. Which would make it warmer. For sure. All right. Now we've got a see and sew. Very easy skirt. All right. It's got a lot. Oh, that's cute. But is it cute because she's super tall? Let's look at the details here. Oh, that has a full range of sizes in one pattern. That's good. Good for me because I have to go from like 12 or 14 up to 22 usually. Oh, line drawings. Okay, so we've got this little detail here. And then we've got one that wraps around like a little cocoon. Interesting. I don't know what that would look like if my hips came out to here. <laughs> Maybe not that big, but if my hips came out more, would that still be cute and flattering? Or is it cute because it's a column? You know what I'm saying? That one would be tough for me to to commit to without seeing it on some fuller figures first. All right. Oh, wow. Wide leg. Whoa. Wide leg pants and a suiting fabric. I don't know about that. Yeah. No. Guys, come on. It, this fabric is just not great. Oh, does it come with a little jacket too? Oh, it's a lifestyle wardrobe. I do like the lifestyle wardrobe collections usually. Top, jacket, dress, and pants. Um, you get four in one. I cannot stop looking at these pants. They are ridiculous. Oh, look at the top, untucked. Is that a shorter version of the pant? I guess so. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I get that they wanted to use fall fabrics, but like, mm, don't know about culottes in a in a structured fabric like that. It just is not flattering, right? Do you guys think she looks good? That's super cute. And look how much happier she is. <laughs> I like the dress. I love this part of the dress, how they use the self-fabric for the little bias tape up there. All right, let's look at some product details. I feel like this could be cute. Like the top tucked in is cute. The top not tucked in is not cute. I don't know what we'd have to do to these pants to make them cute. I'm feeling like it's the fabric, but they could just be drafted like as little triangles instead of actually having real shaping in them. And that could be the culprit too. So front and back darts, mandarin collar, cute little crop jacket, except it goes past the, it like is hip length really. And that's just old. You know what I mean? Like Nobody wears their jackets that long. Um, then we've got the top with the ruffle all around. I feel like that top that McCall's did last year is like this, but cuter. So maybe just get that pattern. 
The dress is cute. I will give them that. Although it has absolutely no shaping. No shaping in this top either. There's not even a bust dart. Um, and then here are the pants, which I think we've established. Oh, these are the short, the cropped version and the longer version. Um, again, there's not even darts here or in the front. So they're just like big gigantic triangles stuck onto your legs. I can't imagine this being very flattering on anyone personally, but prove me wrong. Make it and let me see. All right. We've got a tunic. Butterflies. I love butterflies. Okay, it's got a little cowl neck and a bunch of different seams so that if you're using stripes like this one, you can play them up. I love that concept. It's just a little long for me. Like, I need them to be up here. But if you like tunics, this one's really cute. See and so. So, yes, it is easy. Cute. This could be really nice out of um, some contrasting fabrics or alternating stripes or color blocked or any of those things. This could be a really cute option. I love the cowl neck, too. Obviously made out of sweater knits or other kinds of knits. All right, another C and so. We have got a circle skirt. Okay. Okay, those pictures are not helpful. So yeah, it looks like a circle skirt, guys. Uh, maybe a full circle skirt and a half circle skirt. This one does look narrower than this. So yeah, that is going to be easy. And the full range of sizes. Make one for every woman you know. Or man. All right. Ooh, little lifestyle wardrobe jumpsuit. Jacket, top, dress, jumpsuit, and pants. Okay, now we're talking. This is adorable. So cute, perfect fabric, very flattering, right? I'm loving this. Look how cute she looks, even with those weird sneakers. <laughs> I love that it's short sleeves too. Cute, defined little butt cheeks, unlike those other pants we were looking at. Keyhole back, that's interesting considering it's a knit and a v-neck. I don't know that you need that. I'd probably just sew it closed. Here's our little, I guess, bomber jacket. A little long, but that's okay for this style jacket, I think. There she is all zipped up. A little long, right? You guys are getting that it's a little long. I might chop off six inches. Here, this is the top and pants, maybe? Very sporty. Cute little hem detail. Mm -hmm. There's pants, top, and jacket. Oh, and look at the dress. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's no, there's no like back darts or anything. And like, but it is knit. So there is some forgiveness there. You can just cinch in the side seams a little bit. But if her butt looks like this, I don't know what my butt would look like. It is cute though. I love the lifestyle wardrobe patterns. I just, you get so much bang for your buck. They cost the same as the other ones and you get, I mean, you can make an entire capsule wardrobe out of this for sure. Cute. So cute. And then you don't have to add all of these athletic details, you know, the racing stripe and the little athletic bands here. Cute. All right. 
the last page is there's one more women's oh no there's a couple more in here okay mixed in so we've got a C and so little cape jacket thing see how this works it's literally a gigantic rectangle with a collar and two buckles it's like wearing it's like a poncho it's like a big blanket cute right I mean this little piping thing I mean would look really chic with the right kind of main body fabric super chic this is cute for I mean it is a super easy sew you would if you needed to go to Aspen tomorrow you could sew this up and you'd be ready to go the length on this one is just right I think it's adorable great work on that one there's not much to show you really pattern wise Oh, uh, there's little buttonholes for the um, sash, which is good. Cool. That's a good one. That's going on my list. We've got a dog shirt. We've got a little bag, some doll clothes, some costumes. Okay, here's a little dress. See and sew. And we've got a lot of elastic going on here. We've got an elastic collar, an elastic waistband that they've covered with a belt, which is annoying. Um, because in my mind, if you if the instructions aren't there to make the belt, which they aren't, then it shouldn't be shown with that. Like that to me is hiding something. Like it's trying to make this look better than it really does, which maybe it does, but. I don't like wearing belts on the outside of my clothes. So if I didn't want to wear that, what would it look like? I have no idea. And then here is like a long tiered version. I'm getting like Amish vibes. Not sure about this one, guys. Yeah, not sure about that. Um, here's a little C and so top. Okay, we've got an elasticated neckline, gathered bell sleeve, no pleats. I mean, um, darts. I mean, it's all right. If you had a super cute fabric, this would be okay. What is happening here? <laughs> is, this, is this dress pants that were too long for her and they rolled them up and we're supposed to crop them out and then they didn't? Or is this like a look? Hmm, who knows? Who knows what happened there? Um, yeah, it's not terrible. It's also not great. I'm in the middle about it. There are a lot of much cuter tops in this collection, I think. Okay, we've got a little knit top, I mean, a little, bleh, a little knit dress with cutouts. That's actually really cute and flattering on her. Here it is, drapier. What, is this just a v-neck? We'll have to look at the line drawings. It's hard to tell. Yeah, that, that's really cute. I love that maxi. I love this. With a little self belt provided with a little tassel on the end. Or is that just tied in a knot? Either way. Cute. Okay, a few more here. Oh, that's cool. I do like that. Scoop neckline with a little slit in the sleeve. 
And then we've got little pointy sleeves or like maybe they wrap like little cocoons. Cute. No darts. But they have it, you know, shaped pretty well through the side seams. So you could add your own or, you know, just really pull this in. There's a lot of lightweight tops in this collection. Okay, here's another lightweight woven with little gathered sleeves and it looks like a little pleat here. That's cute. And then here it is without the pleat. Those are adorable. So I guess you just get two front bodice pieces and everything else is the same. Oh no, this is like a circle skirt. So this sleeve is not gathered. It's like a full circle and this one is gathered. So it ends up being a little bit wider. I actually prefer this version, the circle skirt, the circle sleeve, whatever you want to call it. I prefer that. Or wait, did I get them backwards? Yeah, this is the circle skirt one and this is the gathered one. Yeah, to me this is just, it looks better. It looks more clean to me. Okay, couple little girls dresses, super sweet. And then, I mean, come on, look at that cutie. Okay, then we've got our last one here. A little Chanel-ish type of jacket with a super low scoop neck. And then also a higher scoop neck. So lots of trim details, very Chanel-like. I feel like these are kind of a dime a dozen, these patterns. But for C and so, you know. It depends on how much they've simplified it, you know, how simple have they really made it. Um, but we've got some front darts, back darts, we've got patch pockets here or up top with little welt pockets on the bottom. I don't know, are these, oh, wait, yeah, I mean, if those are true welt pockets, that's not easy. So it'll be interesting to see how they pulled that off, making that easy. All right, well, there you have it. We are at the end of our Butterick Early Fall collection. Um, in general, it's pretty good. Not my favorite Butterick collection, um, but there are some really great pieces hidden in here. A lot of tops. A lot and tops were one of the things that I was really missing out on during me made May so you know maybe I should grab some of them up and make some of these fall knit tops you know things in this category what did you like what did you think of the collection um, which ones will you be buying as you saw they're on sale now um, they're $3.99 so it's a good deal let me know if you've added any to your cart and I want to know which ones you're going to make. But that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for listening along, listening to me ramble, listening to my random opinions. <laughs> I will see you all in my next video. Bye.